Hello everybody, how y'all doing? I hope y'all all seen the live stream that was going on today. Um, the flyover. I just put up here just a little while ago. Um, I made a mistake at the end of the video and accidentally cut it off at the end. Didn't mean to. Uh, but anyway, I didn't put the closing comments in it like I normally do. But anyway. But we're over here on our frequency chart today. We're going to look at some frequency rings. How about that? So, let's hit stop. Okay, we're on page one. First thing I want you to notice right off the bat is we got one here. This is the center point. The center point here. And we have another one right through here, and the center point is right about here somewhere. But I also want you to pay attention to <coughs> these lines right here. There's one, two, three, there's four of them. When I take this off, you'll see them. One, two, three, there's actually five. <coughs> Now, you will see them periodically, and that one's coming back right here, and this one, and there's another one here, one coming out of here as well. Uh-oh. There's one in the southern part of California. There's one in Texas. Oh my goodness. But anyway, folks, as you see, let's see what else is on here. Now watch this right through here. This is going to blow up really intense here in just a second. Oh, we got another one here. This one's getting bigger. Oh, one too far. You see all of them coming out? And you know, I think the center point might be right here where the cape is. And we got one here in Texas, one up here, we got one down here. We got several center points here, 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 and here in California. Now let's play this and let's uh oh on the wrong way there we go you see them all flaring up all over the place tonight they're getting down hopefully all of this frequency uh, hemorrho that you see going on will create some rain for North Florida because it's quite dry and I really mean that, but it doesn't look as like it's going to do anything for us at this present time. Over here on uh, Wind TV, as you see, or it just says Wind.com. I could have swore it said Wind TV, but I guess it don't. I'm looking in the URL that says Wind.com. Now, Orville up here is going to get a little bit of showers it looks like in the next couple of hours maybe a little bit I don't know how much and then again maybe yeah we ain't going to get none yeah, it's not looking too frisky the Sahara's okay we get 0.01 on Friday at 1300 hours which is tomorrow oh man what did I do that for I was moving the wrong thing sorry folks um, still gonna get some more at 1700 hours uh, 12 midnight 
Saturday morning. Looks like we're going to get some at 2 a.m. 9 a.m. And, well, might be done. But we done looked at the 10 day forecast and it's kind of holding true with what they said about Friday and Saturday anyway. And we're still good, although you see scattered looking areas over here in Georgia and Florida, but I don't see nothing really too much happening. See what Saturday says, 12 midnight. Friday at 2300. We're getting close to a little shower. Let's we'll see what this one does. Didn't move. 2 a.m. 4 a.m. 6. Didn't change anything. 7. Still, if we get anything, it ain't much yet. Um, 11. Well, let's take our meter down here for the ones in Florida. Uh, 0 Northeast Florida, 0 0.24 inches which is not very much rain but it's better than anything else at the present time let's move this up a little bit and blow this up about two times so we can see more about it one more time now in this area right here this area where this part drops down is the Okefenokee Swamp, which is actually has burned now over a hundred a hundred and forty thousand acres, which I said fourteen hundred last night, and I apologize for that. I really meant a hundred and forty thousand, which I know that they're over that now because it's been smoky here all day. <coughs> And this rain right here will be well more worth getting. Hopefully, it'll produce more rain than that. And it says that we're going to get 1,300. Let's back this up a little bit. And I see it 11 a.m. Sunday ain't 0.03. And then 0.29 at 1400. 1500s the same. 1600 is 0 0.13. So 17 is the same. Then in 1900 hours, 0. 0 0.04 sorry can't get it out and 0.2 at 2500 and then Sunday morning that's about the same 1 a.m. it looks like it's gonna die off and it's not looking too frisky for a whole lot of rain so Accumulation. Um, why is it not working? Uh, try it again. Hmm. Let's do this. Okay, 12 hours, 24, and that's 36, or not 36, three days. Okay, let's try six days, 
and let's try 10 days so and it's saying millimeters why is it saying millimeters it's not supposed to be saying millimeters it's supposed to be saying inches damn it well anyway 13.2 millimeters is very little rain that's pretty close to a half inch of rain and that's what this is saying but when we were over here on this when we were flipping through the days that says 2.9 that says 13 so you add them together so I guess maybe that's what it is that in, ends up to being about a half inch rain now it looks like on Sunday that's mid state of Florida is going to get at least a good inch of rain which would be nice for the whole state but hey this looks like a pretty good storm for the southern part now they need that right here in this area well this whole area right here needs it I know for a fact I live here I live in this spot I ain't real good. Let's do this again. I live somewhere around in here. And I know from here to this area and around here is extremely dry. Extremely dry. Now to do that experiment that we were talking about last night. Now these two videos were up and this one before I uploaded these two and we were talking about with me putting that in the photo okay this one's went up several views this one's up top and was should have got a lot more views than what it got and this one now this one doesn't have that screenshot but what did we talk about in this video? Yes, sir. None other than what you see written here. Right? But look at the one that's put up in between the two. Yep. Do you understand why now I have to go to so big extents to share stuff? and to say stuff to people and to push the situation because they don't want you to know the truth and that's a fact so folks this little gearbox up here when you hit the subscribe button which you right here you hit that if you hit this button you'll see another box which I can't do it because this is my channel and I, I'm already logged in but the point of the fact is when you click on it a box, a square box will open up and it'll ask you if you want this person's stuff to be sent to you and it'll have a little square box in it and it'll want you to check it and when you do it'll give you a check mark like that okay and that'll make your bell on your video which is like this it'll make it light up like this that means you're subscribed to my channel and you're expecting the next video to come to your page and then there'll be other videos my website the subscribe button on there over here website over here videos at the bottom so with that folks I may not be around tomorrow. Um, I have to go to Macon, Georgia, which is about mm, 300 miles from me. So I'll be gone most of the day, and when I get home, I'm probably going to be tired, so I probably won't upload anything. But we'll see. All depends on what's going on, what's happening. So with that, from my cold dead hands and I damn well mean it 
abolish corporate government for your freedoms. Much love to y'all. Make sure to check out this video. Much love. Y'all have a good night now, you hear?